Hey everybody, welcome back. So it's been a while since I've done an EDC video and show you uh, a lot of the stuff that I carry every day. So I figured we're going to go through and I'll show you some of my EDC stuff and maybe you'll get some ideas and maybe you'll decide to add some things to your EDC. Alright, so I figured out we'd start off with the biggest and most basic stuff and that's usually my carry firearm. Um, I do have a concealed carry permit, so if I'm carrying, it's usually my Glock 19, and yes, it is loaded, so we're not going to mess with that. And if I'm just running out the door real quick, I will grab this one. This is a Gunfighters Industry inside the waistband holster. Very comfortable. If I'm going to be wearing it all day, however, um, it's a little more comfortable. This is an older crossbreed Super Tuck holster, and everybody's copied them since then. You can tell I've used this quite a bit, and I've modified it quite heavily. Um, but it works very, very well. It's, I bought this like a week after I got my first carry permit, so I've had it for a very long time, and it's held up. And usually I carry, since that's a Glock 19, it has a 15 round magazine, I carry a Glock 17 extra. Sticks out a little bit, but if I need the extra rounds, I'm going to really need the extra rounds. So I carry a little extra. That's it on the firearms end of things. For a knife. This is usually where... Um, it depends on my mood. I have a couple of knives that are usually in my daily rotation. If I think I'm going to be working on something or doing something where I'm going to need a pliers or something, of course I'll carry a multi-tool. Sometimes I'll carry this as well as other items too, just for the heck of it. If I'm just going out to the store or whatever, I'll take my CRKT Drifter. This was one of those blister pack Christmas special things. It's a really nice knife for, you know, the 20 bucks for the whole pack. Um, I like it. It's, it's a really nice knife. It keeps an edge really, really well and uh, easy to wipe off and take care of. So that usually gets tossed in there. If I think I'm going to need to cut something a little bit bigger or if I'm going out, say, on a hike or something, I'll grab this Kershaw. I believe it's Kershaw Blur. It's an assisted opener. It's a very, very large knife for a pocket knife. Very comfortable, nice, well-made. I really, really like it. And sometimes if I'm just in a mood, I'll grab one of my little automatics. This is a Kalashnikov by Boker. It's got the uh, cleaver sheep's foot blade on it, which I think is kind of unique, kind of different. That's kind of a whatever mood I'm in kind of thing. Not really anything set in stone, all right? And I do not carry like four or five knives. But there are on occasions I will carry a neck knife. The neck knife I find myself carrying most is this guy right here, because it's got a fire starter in it, and I really like the neck knife. This is uh, from Dajo, D-A-J-O. Uh, they're a company, I believe, out of Utah, I want to say. I bought this at a gun show, and I kind of researched them a little bit. And if you look back in my other videos, you'll see I did a video on this. It's a uh, BCR 13 MOV stainless steel knife. Really nice knife. Really sharp, too. And it has its own little ferro rod. And all that fits together in a nice little package. Normally, you know, in regular times, I'll just carry a um, matchbook, which is always in my bag, and a lighter, just in case. But if I feel I need something like this, I'd carry this as well. And I also have other neck knives that are smaller. Um, this is also neat because it can clip on your belt if you don't feel like lugging it around on your neck all day. So that's just something that I use once in a while. That's not an everyday thing. But it's pretty awesome. Watches. Okay, it's either going to be my Sinex smartwatch. Um, runs on the Android operating system. It's a really handy uh, smartwatch. When I'm driving, I love this thing because my phone can be anywhere in my car. And if I want to answer, I just hit and answer and talk through the watch. So it kind of acts like a Bluetooth headpiece, earpiece, and it's got a little camera on it. It's, I mean, I think it was, I forget. My wife got me this for birthday about two years ago or a year ago year ago. And I've used it ever since and it's been uh, really good to me. Never given me any headaches. Gotta love it. If I'm not going to be doing something where I'm going to be driving a long distance or need uh, anything Bluetooth, I'll take this guy here. And I just recently reviewed this one. This is the Pile. It's kind of a uh, copy of the Sun 2 Core. It has the, you know, it has the um, what is it I want to say? The uh, barometer, thermometer. It's got your uh, north, south, east, and west going on there. It's got all that fun stuff in it. Different time zones. 
I like it, you know, um, it was definitely money well spent. It's a very comfortable watch, easy to see, got a very bright night light. I don't always wear a watch though. Um, more often than not, I rely on my cell phone for, but I'm trying to change that because I like having a watch on me. I like being able to just look and see what time it is. Anyway, moving on. Keys. Plain old keys. And yes, thank you, Nighthawk Customs, for the cool little thing that I got at the SHOT Show. Uh, I got a handcuff key on here. Not that somebody who would take me against my will and cuff me would let me keep my keys, but <laughs> it's there. Uh, a little carabiner that I clip onto my bag. And what else? I got a P38 can opener. I've actually used this a bunch of times. It really comes in handy. It's kind of a small one. I think I want to get the bigger one for here, though. Um, this is a dollar store special. Actually, it's a Salvation Army special. It was a buck. It's just a cold uh, canteen type thing. Fill it up with water. Stays nice and cold. Uh, the paint job on it is by me and some sponges. I just taped off the top here, sprayed the base brown, and got some sponges and dipped them in some light green and some dark brown. But it works nicely, and I also, I forgot to bring it out, but I have a carabiner that just clips on here. I don't feel like lugging this around with me all the time. Normally, it just sits in the car. Now we'll get into the bag. So let me tear that apart and show you what's inside. All right. First thing I realized when I started doing this video is that I forgot to show you my cell phone, but we all know what they look like. It's a really big screen cell phone. <laughs> it fits in here. That's normally where it lives. So we're going to go out into these pockets first, and these really aren't all that exciting. I keep some extra business cards from my YouTube channel up in here. I'll give you a quick look at them without my name and phone number and all that. Anyway. I'm always getting people saying, hey, you have a YouTube channel? What is it? And I try to write it down for them, and it looks like chicken scratch. Got a little uh, pouch here with some... This is all the stuff you get in a first aid kit that's squeezable. I have some Blistex, some sunscreen, um, all sorts of stuff like that. Burn cream, everything you could possibly think of that you'd need in a little kit right there. Uh, a extra, couple extra alcohol wipes. In here, as usual, I have a actually an old player's card from a casino and uh, some duct tape wrapped around it. This has actually come in handy a few times. I've actually used this and had to re recode it. A pen, another shot show specialty from Chattanooga Shooting Supplies. <laughs> um, nice little pen, you know, you'd be amazed at the times you need a pen and you don't have one. A lot of people don't carry a pen every day. And if I did a lot of writing, I'd probably have a better pen, but this is a freebie. It's also got a little tip on the end there if you need to use it for your tablet or your smartphone. All right, let's dig into the main. Oh, and I forgot on the side here. By the way, this bag is from um, Rothko. This is a Rothko, I forget what they call it, but you can find them almost anywhere on Amazon. Um, very handy bag, I think it was like six bucks, seven bucks, real cheap. On the side here, there's a little zipper. And I put in here a little bit of tin foil. I can make a dish out of that. I can make a little cup out of that. I can build a little fire in it. You know, whatever I need to do, it's there. And it's a double piece of uh, heavy duty tin foil. Probably getting it pretty beat up. I should probably replace it because it looks pretty old. Okay. Nothing exciting here. Just my uh, wallet with all my IDs, my concealed carry permits on front. I always like to leave my concealed carry permit on the front. Because I figure if I'm ever involved in a shooting, okay, and I'm standing there with a gun over the person who just tried to rob me that I shot, and the officer comes up, I can say, in my bag, right on top, my CCW permit, as I lay down my firearm. <laughs> it's easy to get at, in other words. I don't have to go digging and go, oh, I think it's in here, officer, somewhere. Easy to find. Next up, small Altoids tin. This basically just has all of the stuff that I take every day. Uh, let's see, I got some Rolaids in there, I got a couple of uh, allergy pills, some other allergy pills, um, some Aleve, some Tylenol, and some allergy, uh, the red, orange allergy pills, and some aspirin. Just basic stuff, you know, if I feel an allergy attack coming on, because I live out where there's a lot of horses, and I'm really allergic to horses, which stinks, because I think they're beautiful animals, but I can't get within 20 feet of them or I start sneezing. So, we got that. Next up, as I said, I always keep these from the MREs. Pack of matches. These are those green ones that will uh, light in damp climates. 
Next up, come on, get out of there. Lighter. Always good to have a lighter. Always a way to make fire. This is a miniature first aid kit. Another Altoids tin thing, and as you can tell, it's popped open there. In here, I have the small little things of sea locks. Uh, I have some butterfly stitches, lots of bandages. Again, lots of my allergy stuff and my wife's um, stuff, and uh, some Vivran in case I have to stay awake. It's really, really packed, so I don't want to tear it apart because it's really hard to get back together in that neat little spot there. But it does have some more band-aids, some butterfly stitches, the sea locks, which is the small little, you know, little packets like that. And uh, it's very handy to have. I've used it many times for bad cuts and stuff and injuries. Let's see. Oh, and along that line, I always keep a little thing of witch hazel. Um, some of you younger folks may not be familiar with it. You may think of like peroxide or rubbing alcohol when you want to clean an area. Witch hazel does all that, but it doesn't burn as bad and it's not as bad for your skin. Like if you get a cut and you put peroxide on it, you're kind of abrading it a little bit. This will actually uh, clean it all up and keep it nice and sterile. I love using it for, uh, especially out here. If you notice, like here, when I get hot, I get itchy. I get heat rash. This will kill it instantly. All right, and lastly, well, not lastly, but close, second to lastly, I have this little pocket juice. It's a 4,000 milliamp phone recharger. It's probably just two CR123s in there. Um, it does what I need it to do. I don't want a big fancy one in here. Um, if this bag gets beat up a lot, dropped, banged around, I don't want to put something expensive in there. And a little thing to go with it, a little charging cord. And lastly, oh wait, there's something else in there. Lastly, I keep these. These are, believe it or not, reading glasses. Really neat. I believe I've shown these in my other EDC videos. They just fold up and stretch out. And you can wear them like regular reading glasses. And that's just in case I lose the ones that I have. And they're not prescription. They're just uh, like a 1.5 magnification in case I ever lose these guys. Or they break because these things are $5. $5, $2 at the dollar store. They're pretty cheap. So that's the internals, okay? Let me pack that back up. Now we're going to go to the top. This has a lot of pockets, which I really like. The top here is where I store emergency cash. There's about $100 in here. I have some 20s, some 10s, and a bunch of singles and fives. That way I don't have to make change. Any kind of power outage or emergency, I have exact change or close to it. I don't mind losing a few pennies here and there, but I don't want to lose, you know, a $20 bill for a $5 something. A couple of extra Band-Aids. If you're noticing a theme, I have a lot of first aid stuff in here. I swear I don't hurt myself that bad. <laughs> and I have my gym card membership in there, but it's underneath. In the back, this is the back pocket. This is what I like best about this, because no one would even know this pocket's here, and it holds so much that I just find invaluable in any kind of emergency. Got these. This is a new pack I just put in here, so it's kind of thick. These are really handy antibacterial wet ones, wipes. Um, good for wiping yourself off after you've been working outside in the heat, whatever. A uh, little miniature N95 foldable mask. I have a bunch of those because I really like them. Now, this is something interesting. I carry a backup flashlight. And I forgot to go into the flashlight that I normally carry, which is on my person, and that's why. This is a Phoenix DT-10, uh, LD-10, I'm sorry. Um, let me back that up a little bit so you can see it. But if this one goes down on me, I got this little guy. This is one of those Coast Cheap $5 from Home Depot flashlights. But it's a nice little pen light to have. It's nice to have extras. And back here, let's go through everything. This is where I keep a lot of food supplies. Now, you may think, you're going about your business from day to day, why the heck would you need food? Well, you never know when you're going to get stuck somewhere in a lockdown situation. Those are old, they need to go in the garbage. Um, and this way, I've got a little bit of peanut butter, and i got a beef jerky. And if I can find something to boil some coffee in, i got some instant coffee. And this stuff has been beaten the whole get out, but it's all sealed up. And some peanuts find them to be excellent source of protein. I do have an extra knife in here. It's one of the Camillus, again, one of those, you know, all-in-one deals from Christmas time. I figure an extra knife and an extra flashlight may be really, really invaluable if I lose all my stuff. But I still have my bag. 
And earplugs sometimes I'll go to the range when I'm not expecting to. If I have to sleep somewhere that's loud, like an airport, whatever, got a set of earplugs. This is the interesting one here. This is Sudicon. These wipes are for decontamination if you get sprayed with pepper spray. I started carrying these when I started seeing everyday people walking out of a restaurant and walking right into the middle of a riot in certain cities and stuff. And I figured, you know, that would be just my luck. I'd be coming out of somewhere, <laughs> walk right into the stream of a pepper spray from a protester or a cop. Or... So I figured I'd carry that, you know, while this unrest stuff is going on. It's a good idea to have. Um, they're available on Amazon. You can buy them. They're kind of expensive. I think I got four of them for $7 or something. But they're pretty much invaluable if you get stuck in the middle of some kind of environment where there's pepper spray or some kind of irritant being sprayed in the air. On the side, <coughs> I have a little Innova mini flashlight again. Kind of redundant, but it's handy when you don't want to dig your flashlight out and you just want to look at something. And a little whistle. This is from UST. Inside the whistle, I have some tinder. Uh, it's just dryer lint. That's a nice big thing full of it. So if I have to start a fire, I already have my own tinder with me. So that's about it, now that I've made a big mess out of everything. That's my EDC. Um, again, some of the things I don't carry every day, but everything in that bag I carry every day, including water. Um, I just figure it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So, you guys have any ideas? You want to show off any of your EDC stuff? Um, feel free to let me know. Um, if you want to post your video of your EDC, go ahead and do it. I know YouTube flags them as spam. I will approve them if you have your EDC video in it. If you have your video of you singing on America's Got Talent, no, I'm not going to approve it. <laughs> and also, if you want to get notified when I upload videos, um, right down about, I guess it's about here, there's that little bell. See that little bell down there? Click on that bell, click OK for email notification, and every time I upload a video, you'll get notice. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.